it probably has some very defined ones, but we're just going to scan over a few of these real quick. Here we are with a, another clay object, I guess they call them. And you can see the little characters popping out here. So I'll just kind of give you a little tour of some of these. Of course, these are found in Poverty Point. Some of these, the little round disc pinwheel things, they have those out there, but I could never recover one. As soon as you touch those, they fall apart. So let's take a look at our spear points and our arrowheads here. These are the type of points we find out here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a hair. This old point does have some images on it. And you can see the way the top is broken. And that's kind of what we see here at this site. I'm not going to go through every single one of these. But I'll go ahead and do a quick zoom in to show you. One of these in particular is really nice. It's full of gold. So I'm going to show you that right now. So this little crystal one. Once we get it shining at us correctly, you can see all the gold inside there. You can see it flash, flashing back at us, I hope. Or maybe too close to the screen. There we go. All right. So, really neat. There's so much gold in these. It's really insane. A lot of these are big, big old spear points with their edges. You can look down them, much like this one. So this is a traditional arrowhead, as you guys know. And you can see all the teeth. Um, and this wasn't found at the site, the paleo site. This was found somewhere else. These are some more modern little arrowheads. You can see the rifling that's done on these, right? So really neat stuff. Here's a little tiny broken bird point. You can see the nub on the other side there. It's a uniface design. And of course these things. So many of them are very blunt. Some of them look like this. Uh, they, this one does have a little bit of a spiral to it. So, early, early stuff. Washed this one off. More than likely it has some painted on things. But it's just a some type of hand tool. And these two are a little hafted ones so these spear points are really neat and what's really neat about these spear points is at the ends of them they have little birds painted on you'll start to see the red color here and what I want to show you is that right here on this one you'll see just on the end of the stone the way you work these is you kind of cover up parts of it and you just see the color on there and that will show you the bird so we have a bird Kind of showing both in the same direction here and here's one more this one's going to be the opposite direction but again kind of the same thing you kind of cover it up oops sorry you can see how the little bird sticks out right here so just in this in this section of the stone let me go ahead and put this one down and give you a good look at it the way it is because many of the spear points it's important to know that because a lot of them have that bird painted right on the end and this is what they did it's the puzzle so they they hid this art and here's a little painted one on here this thing's pretty neat it's uh other things they're all kind of there's florida but some of them are more abstract this art it has evolved over a long period of time and so I'm trying to keep it pretty basic for you guys because you know, we've been studying this for a while so you can see this again the rifling on these what the heck right giant I've got some really large ones. I've already shown them a few times, but these are some new ones that no one's seen yet. Oh, this one's like half crystal and half something else. It's got this coating on it at least. Looks like it's in the stone, but it's a very neat point. Look at that edge, the serrated edge there. And I quickly take a peek at these. You can see how these guys have this little v-shape cut out of them you'll notice a lot of the spear points have that little it's actually a little character in there it's kind of what they do you can see these lines through this one here this section here and this one has a very defined portrait just on the bottom half so you can see how these big old spear points kind of have this well, let me go ahead and zoom in just a hair and you can definitely see the the silhouette but 
the eyes right there in that carving. And then the cheekbone, you can see how the carvings for the cheekbone are defined. So kind of ignoring this section, and just looking at that round. You see how the eye is carved in right here, the round section? The nose and then that little indention or ripple for lips. And you can see how the cheek and the chin and maybe he's wearing like a big headdress thing. Big exaggerated headdress. And that's what they, that's what they often did. <laughs> and these, that's kind of what they depict. So... Let's take a look at our little bird effigies here real quick, I guess. So we have our little raven head, and then let's take a better look at this little duck head. So of course it doesn't look like a duck head, but it's just a meme of one. And it's the color of the stone. You can see how the orange inclusion there. And normally it's a bird head on one side and a full bird on the other. And so we can kind of try to see if we can see a full bird some which way. This may just be the wide-tailed. There's a meme of a wide-tailed bird that you can kind of fly. That might be it. And then here's a little cardinal head, which I think is really cool. Go ahead and zoom in on this one for us. There we go. And so you can really see the shape of his crest. And then on the other side, he should represent a full bird. I don't know how. <laughs> Sometimes there's parts of it that you just hold as well, so. But interesting little effigy of a of a cardinal head, right? So this is kind of how you learn the art is you're like looking for these bird effigies. You find some that are very defined. And then, you know, some rocks you don't know what they are yet. You're not sure exactly what they are, so you keep them around. And then after you keep them around for a while, you start to see the repeating patterns and the memes, the styles. And of course, there's gaming stones and things out there, too. So here's one of those. It's got, like I said, I think some of these things were decommissioned because it was like a ceremonial site. And perhaps it was to prevent looting or it was just what they did. They didn't want it because all the points are dulled at the tips. Every single one of them's perfectly dulled and turned into some piece of art as well. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. And then I have a really big pastel to show you at the end. So with this one, we saw our statue here, which comes out really good in the shade. And of course you can see his drawing right next to him there. And let's go ahead and maybe move him up just a hair so you can see really well. And then on that side with this guy, see if you can spot him again. So he's a little bit different, but he has this big mask on. So if you take a look, let's go ahead and get our camera straight. It's very hard for me to see the, uh, the camera right now, but I think I can get it. 